Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Marisa. And if you are new here, welcome to Marisa's Moonlit Creations. In today's video, we are doing some project shares with my products that I got from CoBeads. So let's get started. Hey guys, I am back. So here are some of the products that I got from Kobe's. If you remember the stamps and the papers. And of course, all the links to the products will be in the description below. As well as their website, of course, will be in the link below. And I have a code. It's up here on the screen. I will also put it in the description. And you can save 3% off your order. Also, they have many, many coupons. So please check that out. So here is a little close-up of the stamps that I got. And it seems that this one is flipped. <laughs> so I probably had it flipped in the first video I did. I am so sorry for that. But here's a little bit of a closer um, look at the beautiful stamps, the Irby stamps I got. Here is the paper. That's how it comes in a package. You could buy one or a whole set of ten. And here, I'm sorry, the video is really reflecting badly off of this uh, tablecloth. But anyway, you get five different types of paper um, designed with five sheets each. So here is where we're going to be working today. I got my beautiful inks and my feather pen. This is my grimoire or my book of shadows. And I have some rose petals that I use in this project as well from my tamed wild box but i will be doing another video on the project with that so let's get started with this project share okay guys so i did one page already and i ripped up some of this paper i used that more transparent paper down first i'm so sorry of the video quality i have a really good surprise for you but anyway i used that butterfly stamp right there and it is right there with different color inks and I did a little page I started a page for the herb rosemary so here is the page I'm working on now I'm using some matte Mod Podge I got from the Dollar Tree and he and I used um, one of my I love that watercolor marker from tonic studios and i'm using some of these inks and i use i'm using those inks there okie dokie and i love that beautiful paper it rips really 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 well and i have my feather pen that i use to write out all the attributes of the flower of rose and here are some rose petals from my tame wild box so i use some mod podge to put that down as well as these papers there, I just layered them. And I use that paper right there and that spot underneath. It can really uh, write, it writes really well on top of it. And yeah, I am so sorry, the video quality, I do have a surprise. I've got a new camera slash phone. So yeah, those are the inks I used from my beautiful pen set that my son gave me for Christmas. But yeah, I got a new phone, so this video quality here is really bad today. I am so sorry. But my next video is going to be way much, uh, way, way, way better. Anyway, so what we're going to do now is I am going to take a couple of different stamps. And we are going to stamp on my uh, Grimoire page to add to the page. I just wanted to show you real quick this gorgeous book. It's called The Illustrated Herb Herbiary by Maya Toll. Um, I'm sure I said that wrong. But anyway, look at this gorgeous book. I literally just got it for the aesthetics. I have information on a lot of these herbs already. Of course, it has information. But the artwork is just insanely beautiful. So I just wanted to share that with you. All right, so we have the rose petals again. And I just put a little bit of Mod Podge down on my um, grimoire sheet there. Let me bring down this camera. That would work so you could actually see what I'm talking about. And I just laid down the rose petals 
and um yeah it worked out really really well and it dried clear so that's great so that worked well that's why i got the matte mod podge i put a little sticker there and then you see all the papers ripped up nicely i love the way they rip i love the way this paper feels it feels so nice it's great for like junk journaling and stuff like that and yes yeah, so i'm gonna put some stamps on the sides there and I just wrote out, I left some space on the bottom there so I could add to this page. So I already pre-inked this stamp. I just chose one that, I don't know, just felt right. So we're just going to press it down. So yeah, this gold um, tablecloth is creating like a lighting effect error that I don't like. So anyway, we're going to press down really hard make sure that ink gets on the page and let's see how it comes out oh it came out great wonderful so this paper is really good in the first place so it does take it does not like bleed in the back or anything depending on what you're using alcohol inks it will bleed but this looks really really nice and i love the aesthetic of this page all right so I'm going to put that down and they clean very well. I did wash them and I used them already so they clean really, really well. So we're going to take that little key stamp from the other set. I'm going to use that ink and we're just going to ink up the stamp real quick. This is like a, a very basic mini tutorial but it's really a project share. So I'm just going to ink it up really well. I kind of go ham on the ink just to make sure it's all, all the little spots are um, covered on the stamp. But these stamps, I have to say, work very, very well on every paper. And I really, really love them. I love this one. So we're going to take that stamp and we're going to put it right there. Let's give it a nice layered effect. Sorry, the camera's going to shake for a second because I'm just pressing down. And again, I like to put a lot of pressure just to make sure all the ink gets on the page. And let's see how it came out. Wow. Okay, that's perfect. And all the ink came off. So that's great. Great stamps on great paper. I'm really, really happy with it. And they clean really, really well. So that is my page. I, I Like I said, I left a little space on the bottom there with my beautiful, beautiful pen, feather pen my son gave me. And I also did um, age the edges of the page as well. So here are the papers and the beautiful stamps. And now thinking about it, I should have used that stamp love for the for the flower of rose but i could add that later here are the beautiful herb stamps like i said go in the description all the links will be in there as well as the website and my code you could save a little coin that would be great so that's it guys thank you so so much for watching today i really appreciate you and don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you never miss one of my videos and I thank you again. Have a wonderful day and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.